I find branching logic to be one of the best features of surveys. Branching logic allows users to skip or go directly to questions based on their answers. On your screen right now is just one example of how branching logic would work. And in this example, if a user answers yes to a question that has branching logic applied, it takes them to another question that further expounds upon that answer, and then to another question, and so on. Same is true with no. If a user answers no, then it takes them to a certain set of no answers. So for example, here I have a question, are you a small business owner? And if I apply branching logic to it, I can branch it out in two different ways. If they answer yes, that they are a small business owner, I can ask them how many employees they have, and then ask them another question about it, like how long have you been in business? But if they answer no, that they're not a small business owner, I can ask them what has stopped them from starting a business, or another question that would apply to a no answer of, are you a small business owner? And besides offering multiple sets of questions, like in this example, you can also use branching logic to simply skip questions based on answers, or jump to questions based on an answer, regardless of that answer. But be careful when you're changing the order of your questions after branching logic is applied, because doing so could seriously impact your survey, as questions can only branch to other questions after them, and not before. And this is why planning your survey ahead of time is so very important. There are a lot of factors and questions about questions that need to be answered before you can even begin to create your survey. So to use branching logic, you must first create all of your questions and then go back and edit your survey. We're going to see a lot of examples of branching logic in this course. And let me show you how it would be set up. In the survey that you want to apply branching logic to, after you've created all your questions, go to the settings and then survey settings. In survey settings, find the question that you want to apply branching logic to in the question section and click on the link. And when the page loads, scroll down to the bottom and you'll see that branching logic is now available. It wasn't available before. So in the branching logic section, just choose where you want the possible choices to branch to. And once that's done, click on OK. And that's it. Again, just remember to be careful when you're rearranging your questions if you happen to do so, because you can only branch to questions after the question where you apply branching logic to. And we'll be seeing a lot more of this in this course.